Hi, Joe. What's going on, Miss TC? Day. It's a beautiful day, and it's you're going to put one of our sagos in the garden. We have right about now. half a dozen of them in the garden already. So this one here was in the kitchen, kind of getting leggy in there, kind yeah. of planted in the garden. So uh, it's January 21st today, 2017, two months away till spring. It is feeling like spring out here right now. And uh, these do well in our garden, providing you give them a little bit of help if it gets really, really cold. So I just throw a few fir boughs over top of them if we get a bad winter, and that's good enough for the sago. So this one I just took out of this pot that Wendy had it in. So we had it, she had it in this clay pot. And it is root bound, but it does have actually a nice root system on mm -hmm. it. So I dug a hole. Well draining soil is the key. So mm -hmm. we have very well draining soil here in our southwest facing slope, full sun. And uh, you can see the roots coming off the bottom of that. See yeah. that? Let's zoom in. Lots of roots on that Oh one. yeah, so it's getting pretty, yeah. pretty root down. So what I'm going to do, I've amended the hole with some nice topsoil. And it's actually very dry, this. Very, very dry. So I'll put it in that hole. I don't have to muck up the roots anymore because they're already coming out the bottom. And uh, then I'm going to pack some good topsoil around it. And uh, I don't need to put any fir boughs around it now. But mm -hmm. if we do get some more cold, mm -hmm. then uh, that's easy enough to do. Mm -hmm. So just here. So our garden here on this slope would be like equivalent to zone nine. Zone nine. Zone nine. Reliably hardy in uh, a high end of zone 8B in a sheltered location or zone 9. So mm -hmm. we'll pack some of this soil around here and uh, don't even have to water it because this is our rainy season. And like I say, drainage is important and we have very, very well draining soil here on Salt Spring Island, at least in this area. Not mm -hmm. all of Salt Spring, but there we go. So we'll put some of that native loam around the top. And uh, in the summertime, we'll water it, mm -hmm. keep this thing happy. There's lots of little tracky carpets for tuna palms around here. Aren't they nice plants? Oh, well, they're beautiful. They're actually quite cold hardy. I think <clears> the chirp <throat> ones me. could probably take temperatures down to around 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. For yeah, a short once they get. Duration. So yeah. maybe about minus nine, yeah. somewhere around there. So there we go. There's a sago. I wear gloves because these are a poisonous plant. Don't want to yeah. get jabbed by them. Yeah, they're quite spiny. Very spiny. So they're not a palm. It's a Cycus revoluta. It's a uh, sago palm, they call it, native to Japan. And they're, and they're also a very old plant. Um, they're a cone-bearing conifer. So they're not a palm tree. And they're, mm -hmm. they're, they date back to like the Carboniferous age. So mm -hmm. somebody drawing a picture of dinosaurs, most likely you'll see these <coughs> in the drawings me. as well. Mm -hmm. And these do grow big. You see really big ones in Hawaii, oh, beautiful California, ones. and yeah. other warm areas. Yeah. So there, the sago palm. Go. is planted in okay. our garden on Salt Thank Spring you. Island. Among all, right. all the other ones, we have them all over the garden, and they're doing just fine. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Thanks for Joe. watching, folks. Try one in your garden.